Hello guys and welcome to my Ableton Live 9 tutorial for absolute beginners. So if you've never used Live before, um, this is the perfect video to watch. Basically, when you open Live, you'll get this view here, which is called the session view. And if you press the tab key on your keyboard, you get this one here which is called the arrangement view. Basically you can start creating your song in either one of those. Some, so some of the times I prefer the session view, some of the times I prefer the arrangement view. For some of you who've used like FL Studio or Logic or whatever uh, other DAWs before, this is the view that you're maybe kind of like familiarized with but this is where um, most of the people um, have trouble with the session view so let's say you want to add a kick you want to add a snare all you need to do is search here for the drum rack sorry drum rack. Simply click and hold and drag over the MIDI, MIDI channel. The next step is let's say uh, add a kick. So I'll just search in my library for a kick. Mm, this one maybe. So you just click on it, hold, you drag it to one of those squares here. Then all you have to do is double click and this will create this uh, pattern here and then you can um, when this piano roll pops up then you can just um, create you can just draw your kicks keep in mind this one is the tempo this one is the metronome if you want to hear it while playing and this one here is the play button for um, this row here so let's say if you have another um, another pattern which is like let's say on the third row if you press one if you if you if you play the first row only only things that are only the things that are on the first row will get played so so I, I have like um, uh, I draw some kicks let's let's play them for a second so basically so basically this is what you get um, let's say maybe I want to add a clap I double click again. Oh, sorry. Uh, you double click on um, drum rack here. You get this again here, and you just drag and drop your clap wherever you want, wherever you want it here. So let's say. Uh, all right. Now I double click on this. Then you just. The next thing to do is to draw your claps like and you you press play you can hear it yeah and so on and so forth let's say you want to add a hi-hat you go here you get this hi-hat you put it here and then you have your hi-hat as simple as that so let's say you don't like this session view and you want to start creating your stuff in the arrangement view here you can simply click and hold then press the tab key and you can see this thing just popped up in my arrangement view keep in mind that I, I still click and hold 
So if I uh, if I get my um, finger off the trackpad, um, I get my uh, my drum loop. I mean, I, I get my drums here in the arrangement view. So I can simply go here and just drag this and you can have it for as long as you want to. Keep in mind that I have the loop button selected. If I don't have it, this this thing will happen. So you, you if you want, like let's say if you have like drums, you just have to have the the loop button selected. It's a nice thing to do. Also, if you want to if you want to let's say create more than two bars of loop you can just go here and just drag this arrow to the right and we'll create let's say now I have three bars and now I have four bars so if you go with your mouse if you go a, a bit up you can see the the mouse looks like this so if you click and hold and drag down you will zoom in and if you go up you'll zoom out so now oh actually I have more than four bars yeah so basically now what you can do is maybe just copy this I use command and copy I think it's control and C if you're on Windows you just click here set the bar here just paste it and you get you you can do like some uh, yeah you can do this you can do whatever you want with the drums so let's say you want to add an instrument instruments can be added into a MIDI a MIDI track as well. So let's say you want let's take a synth lead, take this one, you double click on it, it will pop up into this channel. Um, this is the volume. Uh, uh, this arrow represents the volume. So if you go down, if you if you pull pull it down the volume will be lower so you can start playing with your song with your um, um, instrument like on the keyboard just as simple as that like <laughs> sorry for the stupid uh, melody yeah so basically that's it you can just go if you want to record it, let's say, you go here, you press on this button and it will just start recording. I press the spacebar to stop the recording. I also activated the metronome just before I started recording. So I can, um, I can hear what I, I play better. So if you go, if you double click on this, the piano roll will pop up. So let's say you want to add, um, you want to quantize this. Quantize basically means, okay, you'll see what it means. Uh, the shortcut for uh, quantization is Command, Shift and U. When you get this, this window here will pop up you can just select types of quantization or just click OK and you can get this yeah if you press play here you'll get yeah uh, now let's say that I want to create more then all I have to do is uh, keep pressing the ALT button, the OPTION button, OPTION key on um, your keyboard and while pressing you can drag this here to duplicate, duplicate it 
if you do the same thing for this it will duplicate here so you can have the both things here um, also you can drag this ARP into the arrangement view too sorry um, like this um, also to get your um, song playing from the arrangement view you have to click on this button here because if you don't and you just press the spacebar or you just press here uh, Ableton Live will play exactly what you wanted it to play so basically you're playing the session view so if you want to play the arrangement view you go here press on this button then you have all these like unlocked or <laughs> some sort of this thing and you can um, yeah this bar doesn't really matter for yeah so if you click play you get stuff playing from your arrangement view so um, that's it guys basically that's that's how you get things started with Ableton it's easy